Hey guys, it's Xander, aka Ant Boy. As you know, I love ants. And one of my favourite species is called the Shining Guest Ant. This ant is a subspecies of the Murmurka ant, meaning that it's very, very small. But unfortunately, there's not a lot known about this amazing species. So today, I'd love it if you guys could help me gather more information about it. This ant is part of the rare invertebrates in the Cairngorms project. And over the last three years, only four new sites have been found, including this one here. So we would love it if you guys could help us gather more information about this ant by looking for it when out in your local area. This ant is the rarest ant in the Cairngorms and possibly the whole of the UK. It's on the Scottish biodiversity list and is one of the UK Biodiversity Action Plan priority species. So it has a big name for itself, unlike its size. The lack of understanding of this ant may be due to the lack of study, but that's where you guys come in. But more on that later. This ant has a very special name. So let me take you through it. The shining parts come from the shiny coating that covers the whole of their body. This coating is distasteful, so if a wood ant was to bite into the ant, it would immediately drop it and leave it alone. It needs a shiny coating because of the guest part of its name. This comes from the fact that they actually live inside a wood ant's nest. The shiny guest ant lives in very small colonies with as little as 10 to 20 workers, but there can be multiple colonies per nest. Instead of living in the same quarters as the wood ants, they hollow out twigs to create their own home. In Scotland, they can be found in Scottish and Northern wood ants' nests, and we believe they may be found in other species of wood ants' nests across the UK. And we would love for you to look out for this ant and share your findings with us. Here are my top tips on how to survey for the shining guest ant and what we would love for you guys to capture and share with us. Number one, this ant can be found from July to October walking on top of the wood ants' nest. This is believed to be when the wood ant's activity is slightly lower and also this is when the shining guest ant has their breeding season. It's sometimes between these months, but we're not quite sure when as it's quite difficult to tell when the breeding season is for these ants because these are one of the only ants where the males and future queens don't have wings. Number two, find a wood ant's nest. These are typically dome-shaped nests that you see alongside of the path or in a clearing. This is a perfect example of one of these and head out on a grey day like today as they are easier to spot on days like this and it's best to head out in the morning as they tend to retreat back inside the nest in the early afternoon. Step 3. Once you find an ant's nest you want to start scanning over the top of it looking for an ant that's slightly different to the wood ants that are walking all over the top. This ant is a lot smaller, slender and shiny, hence the name. What we also know is that the ant is rarely seen above 380 metres above sea level. So if the wood ant's nest is much higher than that, it's probably not worth surveying. 4. Spend around 15 minutes scanning the surface of the nest. And it's a good idea to move around the nest after a short time, looking to ensure you look over the whole of the nest. The fifth and final step. If you found one, well done. That's awesome. But there's a few things we'd like you to do. Mark down the GPS location, the species of wood ant, if possible, just the general location. So if it's in a forest next to a path, the forest type, the size of the wood ant's nest, and you know what, a picture would be amazing of the nest and of the ant, if possible. But be careful, there's another ant that you could mistake the shining guest ant for. This ant is also small and slender, just like the shining guest ant but the shiny guest ant is shiny. So you need to make sure that the ant you found is small, slender, and shiny, just like the ones you've seen in the video. All the information I've just asked for is in the comment section below. I've also included my email if you want any help. There's also a few helpful links to the shiny guest ant and the reimbursements in the Karen Gorms project, all in the comment section below. I really appreciate your help looking for this very special ant. Any information, positive or negative, will make amazing help to understanding this ant much more. Thanks for listening. What are you waiting for? I'll see you next time. Bye!